We're back on Getting to Know Cano. Our trip with Robinson weaved through the twisted, unpaved, dusty roads of San Pedro de Macorís, past houses that were smaller than one-car garages, and to a school filled with some special boys and girls. Those kids were happy to see Robinson walk into their school. We're at the CAES school, which is a school for deaf children, where Robinson, you just gave out some toys to these kids. And I mean, there was a lot of emotion involved in that. Can you discuss that and just how you felt as you did that? Oh, the, the, I feel, you know, I feel sad because when you see these kids, they can really talk if they want to talk to you. Uh, but the good thing is just to see how they smile, not mm -hmm. giving the toys, and because uh, I know not too many people remember these, remember these kids or bring something to them. You can see where they are right now. They're just trying to build in this, and uh, they only have one bus to send them to the house. No tengo más, papi. I was, he's a good segue. Yeah, I, was, I, I, was about, I was about to say every kid wanted to come up to you, just like that little gentleman did right there, and wanted to have a piece of you. When you see these kids and, and they, they want to shake your hand, they want to get an autograph, they want to get a high five, how, do, how does that make you feel? Well, that, that, you know, it's made me feel like really happy and proud of myself. Because I'm, uh, it's like I said earlier, they look at me as a role model, which is good, and those are the kind of things that made me even work harder, stay out of trouble, and, uh, and I would like to help our kids. What is the message or the, uh, the words of advice that you can give to these kids that they can take home with them? What are some of the things you were saying to the kids as you handed out the, uh, the toys? Well, the only thing, you know, because they can talk, the only thing that I can, you know, tell the, the teachers so they can tell them, like, you know, it's, it's, it's more than a pleasure to be here. And, uh, you know, you never know who's going to be who when they grow up here. And if you live in the same situation that I'm at, you help all the kids. Why did you end up selecting this school? You said earlier that sometimes these are the kinds of kids that get forgotten. Is that why this was one of the schools you wanted to visit? Oh, well, yeah, you know, here, like, Dominican is a poor country. It's not like United States. Like, it's, it's not everybody give away here, you know. And uh, uh, somebody beat me here, like, two weeks ago. I didn't know about this school. And uh, I came here, and I was, I was really sad. When I see all these kids here, how they help them out, and they don't get paid or anything like that. It's just like volunteer. They just teach them, and they just send them back to, to the house. What do you think it is about you and your background, whether it's from your parents or something else that happened to you, that you do want to give back? Because some guys play on the baseball field and then go back home and, and don't want to do that. But this is obviously something that's very important to you. Uh, I, I, I always, you know, I grew up here, and I see kids. You know, I always had everything because of my dad played ball. And, we wasn't rich, but we got the money to get everything. And, uh, you know, now that I'm in the big leagues and I make money, I can, I, can help, I can have people to help me out to help these kids, and why not? You know, it's always good to give away. Is your hope that not only you help these kids today, but maybe 5, 10, 20 years down the line, some kid does become a doctor and says, you know what, Robinson, I remember when you visited me at my school, or I remember when you gave me a present for Christmas, and looking up to you, it kind of told me, Maybe I can go chase my dream, too, and do whatever I want. Well, there was one of the kids that showed me a picture when I was playing here in Hawaii, and he wanted me to sign it. And uh, I was laughing because, wow, I was surprised that I can see a picture of myself here. And uh, that's something I want to do. Like, I've been doing this for the last three years, and that's something I want to do my whole life because that's the best thing when you help people see kids smile and make other people happy. Coming up on Getting to Know Cano, we head back to the baseball field, and we hear what Robinson's goals are for himself. Here's a hint. They are pretty lofty. 